If you've experienced a work-related injury and have reported it to your employer, you probably have some questions about what happens next. Let's set your mind at ease as much as possible by going over some of the basics of workers' compensation and the claims process so you know what to expect. Workers' compensation is a no-fault system that protects both employees and their employers in the event of a workplace injury. State Compensation Insurance Fund, or State Fund for short, is the claims administrator for your agency. Our role is to administer disability benefits and ensure you receive proper medical care so you can recover and get back to work as quickly as possible. We assign a claims adjuster to guide you through this process and to answer any questions you may have along the way. Your adjuster will be your main contact with State Fund. Now let's talk about the types of workers' compensation benefits that exist and are governed by law. Temporary disability, or TD for short, is a benefit that covers a portion of your wages while you recover from an injury and ends when your doctor releases you to return to work. Permanent disability, also called PD, may become available and payments are based on medical reports, age, and occupation. In the coming days, you'll receive multiple letters from State Fund. The first includes several forms to fill out. The first form, DWC-1, is a team effort of sorts between you and your employer. Simply fill out the top half of the form, then give it back to your employer. They're responsible for the bottom half, as well as sending it back to State Fund. If you're unable to get your employer to fill out the bottom half of the form, you can return your portion alone to State Fund. If you fail to file the form, certain rights or benefits may be affected. The Employee Report of Injury form gives you the chance to explain more about the specifics of your injury. The Medical Mileage form accounts for any travel related to your medical treatment. It's important that you include any relevant receipts. Next, you'll want to fill out the Employee Statement of Earnings form. This will include the income you've collected for one full year prior to your injury and help us accurately calculate your benefits. The Employee's Work Status form is used to determine whether or not you've returned to work. If you have, simply fill out the top half of the form and send it back to State Fund. If you haven't, have your physician complete the bottom half and return it to State Fund. We will also need you to sign and return a medical release that will allow your past medical providers to send us your medical records. Although these forms do not automatically determine whether you qualify for workers' compensation benefits, they do allow your adjuster to determine if any benefits are due. Make sure that you've completed and returned any forms we've sent you. And remember, accuracy is key in getting timely and accurate benefits. Be sure to only visit doctors in our medical provider network, and be sure to keep all scheduled appointments and follow all treatment plans. Stay in touch with your employer and your claims adjuster, and keep all documents in a safe place. Also, make sure to notify your claims adjuster if you return to work in any capacity. Your claims adjuster is here to help you along the way, so don't hesitate to contact them with any questions you have. It is our goal to help you achieve a speedy recovery so you can get back to work as soon as possible. If you have any questions, please contact your claims adjuster or visit our website at www.statefundca.com.